you're about to watch is made by the MIS unit referral clarification for you. Now, the tutorial is all about the e resort platform designed by the unit. And to work on this platform, just log on using the URL e resort dot fcs or your dot dot ng. Once, once it is open, you see the login page. Then you log in with your username and your password. Now, for the purpose of this video tutorial, I created uh, a username abiodun abiodun dot fces or your dot edu dot ng. Okay, now, now, then you input the password. But before I proceed, uh, there is a link to ret retrieve your password. Now, this link yeah, is for. This link is for those people that probably forgot their password or something. Once you click on this plat on, on, on that link, it will take you to a page where you can retrieve your password. You just put your, your user ID FCES or your dot edu dot ng. Then you click on retrieve password. Once you click on this retrieve password, a link will be sent to your email. It will be sent to your email where you can do some operations and you, you get your password back but I'm not doing that right now because I know my password so I'll just continue to sign in abiodun dot fces or your dot edu dot ng then I'll put my password now it's taking a while to load now, once you are logged in, the dashboard you you be log on to your dashboard. Now there is a message on the screen now, uh, saying course allocation no course allocation yet. Now this this is so because for this lecturer Abio Nwadi there 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 are no courses allocated to him yet. And let me click OK. And for now that's why the dashboard is like this. I'm showing you a dashboard for a lecturer that has not been allocated courses. Then also I will. I'll uh, show you a dashboard for a lecturer that has been allocated courses. Now, this is dashboard environment. We have different links. Of course, we have the day, the date, and the time. The current time which you are logged into your uh, to your dashboard. And also, there's one important security level that's been attached to this platform. Any moment you log into this platform, uh, a link, uh, sorry, an update will be sent to your email to notify you that someone at social time has logged into your uh, log logged in using your user ID and password. Now, this dashboard now we have the we have the we have this link. Once you click on it, it moves to the to the left corner of the screen. So probably you are working on it and you mistakenly clicked on it, and there is an adjustment. You don't need to panic. Now we have this option for refresh. Then we have this to search, and of course we have to change password. Now once you click on this, probably you feel like your uh, your password has been compromised or you feel like the password is not secured enough you want to extend the, uh, the strength you can always do this by clicking on change password and you input the current password you are using so I'll try and change the password I'm using right now then I'll, I'll change it back that's the current password then I'll put the new one that I want to start using then you put it again And you click on update definitely it, 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 to do the update like we have seen it now password updated and that so and we have another option to log out please don't forget this dashboard is for a lecturer it's for those uh, the lecturers that, are, that that have not been allocated courses this is all you have in your dashboard nothing to nothing much to work with or to work on that's it let me change my password to the default password i created I'll put it again and I'll just update it now password okay so that's how you change your password then to log out just click on this link which will log you out automatically now that's that about uh, that concerning lecturers that have not been allocated courses uh, for now by the time you log into your or log on to your dashboard that's what you see that's the platform that's what you will see on it until you have been allocated courses now i want to log on using 
another ID I created for a lecturer that has been allocated courses. John Doe. I created his name John Doe. So this uh, this I created for a lecturer that has been allocated courses. So I created this username John Doe for the purpose of this tutorial. This John Doe he has been allocated courses. Of course there, are, there is no lecturer that bears this name, but I just created the name, the username for the purpose of this tutorial. Don't have sign in. And always please eh, don't forget once you click on sign in, don't click on save. By clicking on this, on this uh, on save. That means anytime you log on using this URL, erizo.fcsoyo.edu.ng, it will always remember the user name and password. And once anybody gets access to your system and just goes to the, uh, to the URL and opens it, your user ID and your password automatically be remembered. And once he or she clicks on login, definitely the person will be able to log into your, to your dashboard. So please always click on don't save. Always click on don't save. Now this is a dashboard for a lecturer that has been allocated courses. Now his name is John Doe, a lecturer in English department. Now we have the uh, the session, the level, the semester, the department, English department. We have the teaching subject English. Then we have the course code. We have ENG one one one, ENG one one two, ENG one one three, ENG one one four. Mr. John Doe has been allocated four courses: ENG one one one. 112, 113, and 114. Of course, a lecturer can be allocated more than four courses. A lecturer might be allocated just one course to take. But for now, we have four courses allocated to Mr. John Doe. Now, we have the special areas listed. We have the CBD. And under CBD for, <coughs> excuse me, under CBD for this course, we have zero students that register for it. Then SGT zero, then SHR two. Then um, SLD, we have eight students registered. And for S SPC, we have 162. See, there they are many here. And the reason being that for 100 level students generally, their major special area is SPC. Now for the rest that we have two and eight and five, SRE that has five, is because they are runners. Some students are taking these uh, courses again. So that's why we have students in these special areas. Now to work on any of the special areas, just click on this drop down to edit, like to edit, just click on the drop down and you navigate to the special area. Say we want to work on SPC now. I will nav navigate to SPC. I'll click it. Then you click on edit. Click on edit. Now of course you see the time, the last update I made on this on uh, on this platform. Can you see? It is there. Now, the mark sheet will be loaded. The mark sheet for SPC will be loaded. And this mark sheet is just like the one we are, we are used to, the one we have been using, the college has been using to, to process the results. It's a, a mark sheet we are familiar with, and we have it here. Now, this mark sheet, let me clear all these course we have there. That's the link to clear. We have 90, 65, 71, and the rest. You can clear everything to make it blank so that I'll be able to to edit new scores there. So once you click on clear score, it will clear all the scores there. It won't clear the matric numbers and the serial numbers. It will only clear the scores. So let's wait. Uh -huh. Now you can see it has cleared everything. So before I proceed inputting the scores, I want to show you around the the uh, the links we have here. Now, print mark sheet. Once you click on this. It will, it will direct you to a link where you can easily print out a mark sheet where you will be able to get a hard copy so as to be able to write with ink and to, to keep some records of the result uh, of, of the result you have pr processed online so let us it might take a while to load the network so all right why that one okay it's loaded already once it opens, you see that it is just like the one you are familiar with, the the, 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 the mark sheet, the spreadsheet. Can you see now? That's it. It has the number of students that registered. One to one sixty two, of course. Now it has the course combination and the rest, just like a mark sheet that we are familiar with. 
and the purpose of this is just to print it out and have a uh, hard copy for record purpose and that's that about that you want to print you click on this link you click on this link to print still loading then to download you click on this link to download it then this one to to print it then to download you see it's bringing out the options but let me continue with this now on export i'll come back to this pardon me i'll come back to this now clear score we have worked with that then to save score we still work on this let me show you now to input scores you click on this however this space to input scores only accept digits numeric values and the only special alph alph alphabetical values it can it can take are n let me show you now say for instance i want to input um 100 i'm supposed to input 100 and so i'll put o definitely to complain now it has it has shown it that you either input 0 to 100 don't forget i inputted 10 sorry don't forget i inputted 10 o this 100 o which is supposed to be it's meant to be 100 100 but I've it was a mistake i put 100 o there now the system is telling me that i either input from 0 to 100 or i put a b absent not available or not seen so if you put if you proceed to put um a b b it will complain to not accept it but if you put a b it will accept that if you put n s it will accept that if you put n a it will accept that if you put 25 it will accept that if you put 30 it will accept that then if you put 100 it will accept that too so now okay let me let me stop at 10 so let me put 50 here and let me put 99 here now once you have inputted your scores you have inputted from one to whatsoever you click on save score each time you work on this on this mark sheet let's say you make a correction or you put in a new value a score for a student always click on save score always save or uh, click on save score now now i've saved the scores i've inputted but let me let me clear let me clear all and put uh put some other values remember we have not worked on export that i will show you i'll show you next but let me just put in some scores then from there we proceed to export now now i'm going to put in some scores 100 then match number out to score 99 this person scored 98, this person scored 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, absent, not available, then not seen. Now, all this i want to show you something quite beautiful about this platform now now i've been working online since let's say it is the close of the of work for the day and i'm to submit my result tomorrow no network at home and i need to input my scores and make things fast i can easily export this thing export this mark sheet so as, so as to be able to work on it offline when i get home all i need to do is just click on export once i click on this export it will bring out a uh, a message to save then i'll save it to download it automatically which i can always go to my download link to my download link and get hmm. now this is this. now presently i'm working offline now i'm not working online i have I've exported the mark sheet from online to offline now. Now I'm working on the Excel spreadsheet. If you remember, I started from 100 
and I stopped at 90, putting A, B, N, A, N, S for, for these students respectively. So now I want to input some scores offline, of course. Let me put uh, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85 like that just 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 to show you how it works now i'm done with this now remember once you have inputted this course offline just click on save you can easily from your keyboard press ctrl s it will save it automatically the update you have made on this thing it has been saved automatically so by the time we are done here you close your page all this course you have inputted will still be there just remember ctrl save save it or you can easily click on this on this to save it you can, you can, you can see it is telling you an alternative to save ctrl s or you can click on this to save now once you are done just close it then let's say the following morning you go back to work you log you, you, have, you are logged in now and you want to import this course you have imported you, you, have, you have imputed offline at home just go to just scroll down a bit then you go to um to browse to check i remember where you kept the file it is under downloads you click on this then you select the file make sure you select the actual file look at the name ng1 1007 like that then you click on open once you are done with that click on import it will take a while then it will bring in this course which you did offline taking a while it's taking a while to load now it has imported this course we have we have inputted at home remember we started with 89 88 87 and that's that about inputting score then one thing i should i should i should talk about is um the issue of student late reg uh, registration or course registration now the last student here is 163 is a uh, 173 to 163 one thing about this platform is no student will be able i mean lecturers won't be able to edit this uh, this match that's why we have this thing uh, this course so that's why you have this course up in, uh, in in red ink red it, it is in red ink now trying to show you that this thing this area is read only you can't edit it you can't do anything on it you can't ed do anything on it you can't work on it you can't add anything now unlike the uh the mark sheet we are familiar with which we have been working with where it allows extending extension of uh the serial number where you can include new magic number for instance on the other mark sheet you can put uh, 64 65 66 this one won't allow it won't allow that because any student that refuses to register at the appropriate time say the registration uh, concentration closes now that student won't even be able to sit for the exam let alone have a result so let this be known this thing uh, this platform won't allow that you can't there's no way you'll be able to add matric numbers to uh, to, to to add scores for students so that's why you have it that's why we have it on the dashboard it will show the number of students that are registered at the initial like this one 162 once two it is any student that refuses to register before the end of uh, before the close of registration won't be included it will be 62 students to work with or to work on so that's that about um about this platform for a lecturer that has been allocated courses so for the uh, for the for the sake of emphasis i i work on um I work on other special area. Let me work on um, SRE that has nice students. Then once you click on this drop down, you navigate to SRE. You, you navigate to SRE, then you click on edit. It will load and bring the mark sheet for SRE that has nice students. Can you see now? That's it doesn't have serial number 10 it doesn't have the last person here is uh, 133 and of course you input this course don't forget you can input um, any alphabet aside N 
a not available a b absent and n s and of course you won't, you can't input anything less than uh, anything outside 0 to 100 so if, if you if, if you put uh, 120 definitely it will complain can you see it will complain so that's that about that and don't forget you can always export export this mark sheets so as you able to work offline where there's no network you can just click on export and it will take you out so that's that about uh, about that for lecturers that have been allocated courses so thanks for watching and have a blessed day